Steve Carlton, one of the all-time greats, four-time Cy Young winner, and he uh, joins us now, and he's kind of hiding over here behind the camera. You know, I was re researching you, your statistics are uh, unbelievable, but take me through those 18 games in 72 where you went 15-0, and 0, where you just kind of oh, in the zone. You, there was three no decisions in that, that streak. Really? Were you just, I did it, not know that. Yeah. <laughs> did you, were you just in command there? Or just Did you feel like you're unstoppable in that stretch in 72? Well, you know, you're just uh, game to game with me, and uh, you get in the zone, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we, that that team wasn't going to score a lot of runs, so you get one run, you know, you got to learn how to pitch. So mm -hmm. it, was, it was just it was a rare thing because I was like four and four and four mm -hmm. early on, and then I just got on a roll and and uh, ripped off 15 in a row. I think it was, yeah, it was pretty good. And you didn't have to rely on your about that. bullpen either because you, you pretty much trying to get complete games. It seemed like uh, that was your yeah, model then. We didn't, yeah, we didn't have much of a bullpen, so you're in there for the duration. I know you had a lot of uh, stats, but are you most impressed with the 329 wins? Is that something that you're most proud of? No, I'm, I'm impressed with my retirement. <laughs> I'm retired. God, stop that. Uh, no, it, uh, yeah, they're all, all good stats. I'm just kidding, obviously, but they're all, all good stats. But I'm not a retro guy, so don't give it much thought. Well, one that, that I thought was interesting was the, you know, as a pitcher in an any league, when you get a pickoff, it's, that's big that was, time. You had 144 yeah, of those. A lot of them, yeah. What somebody, was the art somebody, of that? Somebody told me that uh, like a couple of years ago. I said, God, I didn't know that. And I'm, I'm like 70 ahead of the next guy, you know, so it's quite a difference. And I, uh, what I'm proud of is 20 years, no disabled list. Yeah, and that's, that's, a good, that's a good one too. And do you bind all the pitch counts and the you know three inning relievers and yeah. the stuff that happens no, I mean, nowadays? It's, no, that's a sign of the game. I mean, the game's changed to that degree, but it would probably be better. I mean, if if I'm going to pitch five or six or seven innings, I, you know, you're going to pitch the extra six or seven years, let's say, because you know those innings, are, especially when you're tired, you're grinding, you know, it's hot and stuff like that. But so if you're going to, you know, the quality start allows you to pitch extra years, you know, so you can. Crank it out right. a little longer, you know. So that's good. But if you got a guy that's that talented to come in and, and close you down, then that's better. That's a fresh arm, you know. So it's a, you know, it's a specialty game now. Well, talk about setting a guy up when you pitch with your slider and your fastball. How did yeah. you set one guy up with? It was one. I know that the slider was devastating, but your fastball was too. Yeah. Well, one works off the other. You know, you had to, back then they taught that everything works off your fastball, but now mm -hmm. they, you know, the first pitch of a game might be a breaking ball or a changeup. So it's totally backwards to the way we were taught how to pitch. Because you know, you, uh, we might go three or four innings and never throw a breaking ball, just fastball, just spotting it. Right. And then you come back and start you know, working in your breaking ball. But now it's first pitch might be a changeup. Mm -hmm. So I don't, you know, we, they, they just did it different back then. And it's different now and uh, the game's changed. And, you know, the, the setup guy and especially the guy, the closer and stuff like that, it's good. But you could, I, you know, we'd pitch a lot longer uh, because you'd, be saving your arm a little bit. No question about that. Let's wrap up with the World Championship. 1980, you won two games. Uh, won the final game. How special was that to, uh, to win the World Series for the Philadelphia? Good. Finally put it to rest. They went a long time. You know, they had that stigma that the Cubbies got, you know. <laughs> Cubbies are stuck down. They're the last one, right? I know for Poor sure. Guys. Being a Cubs fan, thanks. Poor guys. <laughs> so I'm pulling for them. I'd, I'd like to put that, you know, put that to bed or whatever they say. You'll get that behind them. It'd be good. But uh, 80 special. Yeah, you betcha. You know, the last game. You, you didn't know. I just uh, the way it way it turned out. I ended up. I didn't. I don't think I started the first game. Right. So right. I, I pitched the second game and then the sixth game or something oh, like yeah. that. So yeah, it worked out good. You know, tried try to beat. You know, try to win every time. And beat the Royals. Well, thanks so yeah. much, Steve. I thanks, appreciate the uh, the out. time. All time great, without question. Uh, Steve Carlton, the last guy to win 25 games in the National League, and he won 27 and 72. Here's that 20 bucks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Uh, back to you, Randall.